Today I have 7 perfumes you don't want to sleep on and I've organized them from least to the most expensive so if this is something that interests you please keep on watching. So the first perfume is the perfume I am the most excited about because it's been on my wish list for so many months and I have no idea what took me so long to get it but finally it's mine and it is supposed to be a dupe for quite expensive Mongolian and I'm talking about Guest Seductive Noir. Guest Seductive Noir is so amazing that it's almost hard to believe that it's possible to create such a beautiful scent in such a low price. So I was quite skeptical about getting Get Seductive Noir but now when it's finally mine I can say that it's really worth it. And for me it's a perfect wifey scent just like Mongolan is just in a different price point. So if you want to smell like a wife that bakes vanilla cupcakes you need to try Get Seductive Noir. Especially taking into account the price and for everything that this scent offers it's incredible. It smells like the most beautiful vanilla iris powdery scent perfect for every single occasion. Even though this one is eau de toilet not eau de profond the CH and longevity are quite good. I'm I'm getting 4-5 to five hours of wear with a moderate sillage and longevity. And for me Get Seductive Noir is in the middle between Mongolan and Mongolan Intense so if you have been loving them both you can just get Get Seductive Noir and you will be good to go. So if you ask me you can never go wrong with Get Seductive Noir, it's so likeable, perfect blind buy and also a perfect gift for upcoming Mother's Day if you are looking for one. So for me this scent is very creamy, well blended and it leaves the most beautiful trail after you. But please remember it's an eau de toilet so don't expect a piece mode you can always overspray it just like I do. This scent smells edible without being overly gourmand so if you have been looking for something that smells like vanilla cupcakes and you don't want to splurge on mongrel lamb please try this one. I got it on sale so I'm super happy to have it in my collection and I will definitely be using this this upcoming spring and summer. The next on my list is also quite inexpensive and it smells so good that it's hard to believe and I'm so happy that I have it in my collection because this is one of my favorites. It smells like peaches combined with vanilla and I'm talking about of course Jimmy Choo I want to. Every time I spray this one I smell peaches, soap and vanilla so it's the most beautiful fruity soapy perfume. So if you are a huge fan of soapy perfume and peaches you can never go wrong with Jimmy Choo I want to. It's also quite affordable so it ticks all of the boxes. If you have been looking for a beast mode that is soapy, peachy, you just found it. Jimmy Choo I want to. Even though Jimmy Choo I want to is quite affordable it's also a beast mode. It leaves the longest trail behind you and you cannot hide from men wearing this one. They will sniff you from miles away and they will compliment you all the time. So every time I want all eyes on me, I want to fill the room, I want everybody to notice me, I am wearing Jimmy Choo I want to. Jimmy Choo I want to is my go-to daytime scent. I'm not over spraying it when I'm going to work but when I'm not going to work, when I'm running around, going out with my friends, you name it, Jimmy Choo I want to is all over. Over me and it's my beast mode special task scent. This scent is very intoxicating while oversprayed but it also gives me clinger vibes while used with caution. So if you have been looking for a clinger perfume that you can turn into a beast please try this one and I think that you will be happy with your choice. So if you have been looking for a scent like this, a beast mode that will get you noticed and will grab the attention of everyone, please try Jimmy Choo I want to. It has never let me down and it's my go-to for spring. So the next perfume on my list is a perfume I've grown to like. I like it more and more every day and I'm using it all the time during this spring and it's Zadig and Voltaire This Is Really Hair. Zadig and Voltaire This Is Really Hair is not new to my collection. I've already made a video talking about it and comparing it to my favorite Zadig and Voltaire This Is Hair so if you haven't seen this video yet I will put a link in the description down below. But for me Zadig and Voltaire This Is Really Hair is quite unusual because on my skin it pulls green, soft, spicy and the dry down is extremely extremely beautiful because it's vanilla and honey and even though the fragrance is not the most long-lasting fragrance that I own the dry down lingers on my skin for hours because even though I love the soft spicy and herbal opening with pink pepper and basil in top notes the dry down is extremely beautiful with honey and vanilla and it lingers on my skin for so many hours the dry down is my favorite part of this perfume and this is why I'm using this fragrance so much during this spring because for me it's a perfect daytime scent when the weather is nice I'm wearing it all the time when I'm running around also to work and even though I didn't get complimented on this one yet I think that this day will come very soon. I remember after I bought this one I also made a review and comparison between this and this is her by Zadik and Voltaire so if you haven't watched this one please do and in this video I told you that this perfume on my skin has a moderate sillage and longevity and it's still like that. When I want to smell this beautiful dry down I need to sniff my wrists or whenever I spray this perfume but on clothes it holds until the next wash. 
first. And I also got comments from some of you under my video that on your skin it's extremely long lasting but as you can see it's very individual. It disappears from my skin very quickly but on you it can last forever. And I'm always reminding you please don't blind buy the perfume. Please try it in the store if you have a possibility because even though I'm spending my money on all of these perfumes I think that you don't need to. So with that being said if you want something herbal and spicy and you are a huge fan of the Dick and Voltaire perfumes please try this one and I don't think that you will be disappointed. It's so unique, it has so many great reviews on Fragrantica, many of you seem to enjoy this fragrance so it has already many fans and it has just been released. It smells delicious and fresh, it's perfect for spring and summer and if you had a chance to try this one please tell me what you think. The next perfume I have for you is the newest addition to Narcisa Rodriguez family and it is very pink, fluffy, beautiful, musky, everything you have been expected from Narcisa Rodriguez's fragrance and this is of course the newest musk nude. So this perfume is a mid-range, it's not the most affordable option but it's also not the most expensive so you really cannot go wrong with the newest release from Narcisa Rodriguez. Musk Nude is a very beautiful perfume, it's like a baby between Poudre and Musk Noir Rose so if you have been enjoying these two I think that you will be also a huge fan of Musk Nude. It has just been released but it already has so many fans and so many good reviews. The only thing I would say that it's not the most long-lasting perfume but it also doesn't disappear from the skin in a few minutes. I get a solid five to six hours while wearing this one with moderate silage and longevity. So if you have been looking for a perfume that it's modern, soft, spicy, rosy and musky, you really need to try the newest mask nude from Narcisa Rodriguez. This is the most beautiful fluffy perfume that has been released this year and I'm so glad that I have it in my collection. And I've said it already but I will say it again. I am over spraying this one like crazy so every time I'm coming home the only thing I can smell is musk nude and maybe this perfume has something in it that it lingers on the clothes and on the furniture for hours it just disappears from my skin very quickly I don't know please let me know what are your experiences with musk nude does it linger on your skin for hours or disappears please let me know the bottle of this perfume is also extremely elegant and pink and trust me this perfume smells exactly like this bottle looks like so fluffy elegant and cozy for me this perfume is a modern spicy take on rose it's perfect for the daytime perfect to the office perfect when you're running errands going out with your friends everything you are doing during the daytime this perfume will be perfect for and of course this one being a very delicate and fluffy scent has been designed with spring and summer in mind so please don't wait until the weather gets cold please grab this one and you will not regret and now we are getting to last three expensive perfumes and we are starting from the one that is very new to my collection but I had a chance to test it for a past few days and I have been drooling I have been hearing so many good things about this one and I really wanted this in my collection and it's finally mine and I cannot wait to recommend you this one and I'm talking about Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Thanks to the warm vanilla note, Devotion is cozy, warm, edible and intoxicating. I don't know what took me so long to get this one. This is the most beautiful lemon vanilla gourmand scent I have ever tried. When I sprayed it for the first time I was drooling. It's so intoxicating, beautiful and I understand the hype. And because of the candied lemon in the top note it's so refreshing I am using it also during the springtime. In middle notes we have panna cotta, orange blossom and rum and in the base note we have overload of vanilla so this is very intoxicating, sweet, gourmet, leave a long trail after you and it gets people drooling. It really grabs attention so if you love gourmet scent and you're looking for something like that, an attention grabber, compliment getter, please take a look at Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. The hype is real and I can only recommend this one. And actually when I sniff it also from the cup right now I get coconuts. So it's a very beautiful scent. It will be perfect for holidays, especially holidays dates. So when the summer finally arrives or you're going to a fancy tropical vacation, please take devotion with you because it is something you need. And we also need to take a few seconds to appreciate this beautiful bottle. Golden cup, golden detail with Dolce & Gabbana on. Attention to detail is unreal. So it will also look extremely beautiful on vanity and I'm so glad that I have it in my collection. And now we have almost the most expensive fragrance from this video and this is the scent that made me chase on the street by a lady who wanted to know what it is because she told me she was smelling it on other people before. She couldn't stop thinking about it and she really wants it for herself. And I told her that this is Libre. 
EDT. This is a second lip in my collection. I'm also a huge fan of Intense. I'm not the biggest fan of La Profonde and I'm also not the biggest fan of EDP. Even though EDT and EDP are quite similar, I still prefer this one. This perfume is an overdose of orange blossom, which is extremely intoxicating for men. Eau de Toilette is very perfumey and lavender is very toned down. So if you haven't been a huge fan of Eau de Parfum because of an overload of lavender, you will probably love this one. I've also heard that men love orange blossom in perfumes and orange blossom is pretty heavy and lip EDT. So if you have been looking for something like that, something that will make a great impression on every man you meet, please try this one and you will not get disappointed, I promise. So it seems like it's a compliment gather from both men and women. So if you have been looking for something that you can wear on an everyday basis during the spring and summer, also to work because it gives me boss babe vibe, please take a look at Lip EDT. It's so universal and even though it's not the most affordable perfume, a little goes a long way because it's an extremely long lasting fragrance. With that being said, both Siash and Longevity are outstanding. So if you have been looking for a fragrance, you can count on, on every situation at work, after work, during the daytime or nighttime, Libre EDT will be your best friend. The bottle of Libre EDT is also elegant and classy. I just posted a picture on Instagram appreciating it. So if you don't follow me there, please do. And the last perfume in this video is extremely expensive. Even though it's beautiful and you cannot sleep on it, the price is ridiculous. And I am talking about Dior Parfum 2024. Even though this perfume is extremely beautiful, it's woody, fruity, very elegant, smells like very sophisticated strawberries with a woody base. The price is way too high if you ask me. You can get a niche fragrance for this price and I have it in my collection only because I get it as a gift from my mom. With that being said, the bottle of this fragrance is extremely beautiful and Francisca Dijon did a very great job because I was really bored with all of the flankers of Miss Dior before and Absolutely Blooming is still my ultimate favorite but you don't want to miss on this one because it's a fresh of breath air from Dior. When I'm spraying this one I can smell citruses but it disappears quite quickly and then I'm getting this beautiful strawberry and the dry down is to die for. It's a very universal scent. You can wear it both to work or when you are running errands, going out with your friends, also on a date because it's also very fun and flirty as all flankers of Miss Dior are. They are very fruity, very flirty, very romantic. So if you are a romantic girly girl out there, you really need to try the newest Miss Dior Parfum 2024. And if you are a fan of Francisca Rijan, you can be sure that it's another variation of strawberries. So if you love strawberries, Francisca Rijan, Miss Dior, please try Miss Dior Parfum 2024. Even though it's not as long lasting as Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming, because Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming is a beast mode, this is still a very good fragrance. Siege and Longevity are pretty good. I can smell it on my skin for the whole day. So if you have been looking for something like that and you are a romantic girly girl, please take a look at Miss Dior Parfum 2024. Of course, only if you can afford it. If don't, please take a look at other six perfumes I mentioned in this video. Please let me know which one of these perfumes you were sleeping on and which you will add to your collection pretty soon. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!